Good morning everyone. My name is Mrs. Bharti Khera. I am a biology teacher. Today in the morning, I was just walking in the park and I have seen a beautiful flower over there. Everyone loves flowers. Do you? Yes. So I have this flower and just an idea came to my mind that I will explain this flower to my students today. So today students I am going to explain to you the structure of a flower. So I am showing you this is a structure of a flower, transverse section of a flower. I will explain to you in detail the internal structure first and all the four walls. Okay, so just start, let me start first. So this is the structure of a flower in which first of all the main point where the flower is based on the stem the, that point is called pedicel okay so the base on the top of the pedicel where the whole flower is placed that is called thalamus students now outermost wall of the flower is made up of green colored leaves and those leaves collectively called as calyx so the outermost whorl is called calyx and individually those leaves are called sepals. The main function of the sepals is to do photosynthesis and also to protect the flower at the bud stage. Now the second comes is this colorful part of the flower. These colorful leaves are called petals and collectively all the petals collectively they are called as the corolla. So these colorful petals are performing a very important function in the uh, flower. What is that function? These petals are used for attracting the insects and even the nectars secreted at the base of these petals, nectaries are present in the flowers which produce nectar which is also attracting the insects and other birds for purpose of pollination. So these two worlds, calyx and corolla, first two worlds, calyx and corolla are performing the, these functions, so, but these are the non-essential worlds of a flower. Now I am moving to the third world of a flower that is called androecium. And androecium is made up of Stamens. One stamen is having two basic parts. Okay, anther and filament. Anther and filament is attached to the base of the ovary. So that is called stamen. And all the stamens collectively called as androecium. Fourth world of the flower, innermost world of the flower is gynoecium. And gynoecium is made up of Carpels. There may be one carpel, two or three carpels in the flower. Okay. So the carpel is then made up of how many parts? The uppermost, topmost sticky part is called stigma, where all the pollen grains from the anther comes and stick over there. And then this part is called style, from where the pollen tube travels. And then this is the ovary. Okay, so ovary is having ovules in it which are future seeds. Ovary will be the future fruit and ovules will be the future seeds. Now if I will explain to you in detail what is the stamen and what is the carpal. Stamen is the main reproductive unit of the flower and carpal is the female reproductive unit of the flower. So you can see basically what is the diagram of a carpal or a stem. Okay, students male and female reproductive units of the flower are used for producing fruit and seeds for further perpetuating of the flower. Flower is actually the reproductive unit. So in the flower if we will see this, if we will see this, come here I will show you what are the different parts of a flower. So you can see here. This is the pedicel and this thickened part is called thalamus. On thalamus, these are the sepals. So if I will separate them, so 
these are the sepals okay so if i will remove the wall these are the sepals these are the sepals and if if i will remove gently all the petals the second wall is petals so petals are removed now you will have you will have this this is ovary and on the above these are the anthers and the stamens you can see and the the top is this is the stigma so this is the male and reproductive male reproductive unit and female reproductive unit of the flower